Welcome everybody to the Noun Square at just before 9 o'clock. We're sitting here looking at Noun 412, a beautiful bankhead noun with 8 minutes and 56 seconds left. Okay. And if, you, if you wish it and you dream it and you say it out loud, it can happen. Is that, is that uh, how no, no, you happen? don't say it out loud. That, oh. That's how Beetlejuice gets you. Oh. <laughs> that's right. We're getting conflicting reports here. We're going to check on Wikipedia and get back to you about the proper way to get your wishes granted. Point. What type of noun do we shoot before today in FOMO? Why don't we throw it over to Nodes, because Nodes did up a really cool graphic that he tweeted from, from our account earlier today. What was that all about, Nodes? Yeah, so I was just um, looking through the unminted heads and saw that quite a few food items that we haven't minted, uh, food heads, so I figured it would be cool if we had a theme to try to mint today, like if we could mint like a food-related item. Um, <laughs> What's your favorite one? Oh, donut, okay. Donut, yes. Um, I think, Same. yeah, the donut would be awesome. But there's some other really good ones there. Um, I like I, the chef's hat because it has a pencil mouth. Underappreciated chef hat. Yeah, I like the banana just because it's so close to banana. You know, it's oh. a banana. But I don't think you can beat a beat. Hey, there you go. Woody wants Hello. a beat too. Woody's rocking a beat headed down of some sort today, I think. So, and he, he mentioned that he's a beat guy. Yeah, yeah that makes sense because he's good with the beats, right? So that's right. Oh, that's exactly. Right. And he got his baseball finally, so it's beat time. I, I'm team mustard because I feel it's a little bit insulting that I think there's been two or maybe even three ketchup heads. And, yes. only, and no mustards like it's all about the ratio though right what, exactly yeah. what are we doing with our hot dog right now in the nanoverse <laughs> not doing it right not we could have, by the way we, we could have had a beautiful mustard dow yesterday but people were not thinking straight so point go homo nouns got wtf get on there get on there <laughs> I'm just going to turn FOMO off right now yeah. and watch this. Anyway. Well, you know, if you're uh, new here, normally we play FOMO and it lasts like uh, 20 to 30 minutes <laughs> sometimes. Uh, today, that didn't quite happen and we got rugged. What does that mean? What does that mean, Ben? How did we get rugged? Well, it means that someone else decided instead of playing FOMO with us and, you know, joining in on the party, they decided to go over to the contract and settle that thing. They settled the auction, they finished it off, and minted a mosquito without our consent. <laughs> <laughs> and why would someone do that, Ben? Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's, that's the part that blows my mind, to be honest. Wait a minute. Because they don't have any friends. What if it was an actual mosquito? Like, they saw that, and I'm like, yo, that's me. And a mosquito went and like just settled and it. And it pushed its little pointer nose down on the keyboard yeah. for that time. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, one thing, one thing we can all agree on is that today's noun sucks. Yep. 
Tony, I don't know. Uh, after the merge. Hey. After the merge, the proof of suck. <laughs> proof of suck. Anyway, I didn't mean that the noun was terrible. I mean that mosquitoes suck in case that wasn't clear. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like vacuums. That's right. I mean, we've been uh, doing this now for about 20 minutes. Do you think we should introduce our guest? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, so I think, know, I think we can go on. Intrepid host that I am, I suppose I could do that. But everyone, welcome Atare to the stage. He's been chiming in. He's right. At, he's fitting in right at home. But uh, welcome to the stage. Welcome, welcome. Uh, hey, thanks uh, for having me, guys. Welcome. Hey. Thanks for Normally, being here. Normally, we kind of banter and, ch and chat with our guests before the auction's up. But, you know, we just were having so much fun. We got carried away. So we'll talk to you after we get rugged, if that's okay. <laughs> it's all totally good. Alrighty, well, tell us about yourself. What's uh, how did you first get involved with nouns? Hey, so um, I, I started getting deep into NFTs around last summer, and um, when nouns um, when nouns uh, popped up, you, there's just something that you can sense when a project is cool or there's something about it, and nouns stuck out to me, and I'm like, whoa, this is cool. Um, and, you know, I went away and like did the whole DGM thing for a while, and then it was around March is when I started focusing on nouns again. And uh, there's a nouner, Jack Butcher, that you know a lot of people know obviously through his work and you know through his courses and all of that. Um, friend of the show, friend of the show, Jack Butcher. Yeah, that's he's what, that's what people say. I think for these shows, friend of the show, <laughs> friend of the show, Jack Butcher. Um, uh, you know, like as you follow his stuff, it, it keeps coming back in my. Uh, like on the top of your mind about CCO and then we also had uh, one of the projects I'm really really deep into and I host a show about but it's called 10KTF and what's cool that they have a storyline I'm going over uh, the past 9-10 months and crypto is, is the villain in that and so the team bought a crypto even though they didn't need to but they bought a crypto and uh, he's boss toads in that story and he was introduced around October of last year and that's when Kremlin was like his first tweet uh, with the 10 KTF uh, Twitter was like I have no idea what's going on here but this is incredible because it was like a photo of boss toads um, and so uh, Kremlin you know obviously Kremlin's a huge he's one of the nounders and so uh, that kept putting Gremlin? nouns back what's his name Kremlin yeah, I don't. I, let me. I can spell that for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so, yeah, like I, I, I've always wanted to jump in, and I, I think for me, content is where I do the best. Where whether it's writing, and then more recently in this year, I started to do more video, and so I wanted to start con contributing with uh, however I can in the noun space. And uh, the first, first, uh, first thing for me was a prop house that ended up getting funded for CCO Sundays. So I started doing those over the past summer. Yeah, and how did that go? It was great. So uh, if anybody doesn't know, CCO Sundays um, was a series where I would go over the CCO universe and what's happened that week. And what I found, what was cool that through that, I, I had people reach out to me to say, hey, this is really cool. We should grab a coffee. And so I just started meeting people that are, in the nouns universe because they saw a face and they saw somebody creating content for the space. Um, more recently, as that, I think as I got the lessons through CCO Sundays and I saw some of the work that Maddie's doing and there's some other video content out there. And so I think to differentiate, I've, I took a step back from that to really understand now that I've spent, you know, three, four months in, in nouns and I can kind of see what's happening. Something that kept coming up for me was, People kept asking, what is nounish really? And so I've, I've spent a lot of hours in the Discord searching on examples of what is nounish. What is it now? <laughs> I, I think I, there's one that uh, I want to say Kremplin said it. He's like, or somebody else said it. He said, it's like love. Like you can't. You you can't name it, but when you see it or when you feel it, you know it's you know it. And oh, um, grand, Grandpa's such a softy. Yeah, the <laughs> U.S. Supreme Court disagrees. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I think that's true. And actually, a lot of people do have different definitions of nounish. In fact, our guest yesterday, uh, Goldie Picks, uh, was awesome to have on, and he talked about how another one. 
That's right. And he talked about how he and 142 uh, have gotten together on, on a project called Nownish, at Nownish. <laughs> and uh, what they what he sort of said is that they've d- chosen to define Nownishness as basically all the, all the building that's going on within the, the Nownish sphere. So um, telling those stories of all the builders is their way of defining Nownishness. So thought that was interesting once you do spend time around uh, like you're saying you spend a few months in the discord you can start to feel it you can tell what it is but then someone just says what can you tell me what this nounish thing is like what, what does it mean and you're like well i don't know man you're gonna have to spend some time in here yes yeah. it's, uh, yeah. it's a real relative concept i think exactly all right Atari, so tell us about what is nounish done xyz what's the deal yeah, so um, I, I want it to be a couple of things. One, I want it to be a um, living repository of all the things that people have described to be nounish. So one thing I noticed is that like a great way to learn about what is nounish is to first and foremost spend time in the Discord and see the people point out things that are or aren't nounish. The, the other way is that you go through the Discord history and find the examples of that. But um, that's a little bit daunting, and it's not the most fun way to learn what it is. And so I've been spending uh, my weekends just going back and finding these examples, whether it's like, you know, images or sentences or descriptions of some of the nouners. Um, And I want to kind of I want to compile that into one place. The other thing I want to do is I want to give each nouner the ability to go and have their one sentence definition of what they think is nounish because I think uh, like you guys said everybody has a different definition for it. Uh, are there any channels that you found to be particularly fun to, to be a part of early like when you're just learning versus like oh, okay I'm, I'm here for a few months now like these other channels are, are more interesting like what was your experience with that? To be honest, I found that the the one where I felt most like a fly on the wall where I get to learn is... Like a mosquito the, on the wall? <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, I'm the mosquito. I'm actually a mosquito. <laughs> Sucking information. <laughs> um, the one where I feel most like a mosquito on the wall is uh, the closed nouner channel where if you have a noun, you can um, participate. And the reason I like that isn't so much for the day-to-day conversation, but it's for me to scroll back and see, like, in hindsight, like, these foundational moments of, like, when somebody asks the very first time, okay, what is nounish? And to be able to see that conversation amongst the nouners um, unfold. And I really, I really think that the energy and the, like, thoughtfulness that goes into each response in the, by and large, in the, in the nouner discord is unlike other places i've seen it and so i really enjoy just like the perspectives and uh things that the nouners share in that channel so for those that don't know it was a contest that we ran uh for almost a week it ended on monday and that was to uh to do a woody, super tight woody uh soundboard challenge so you had to take Super tight Woody's awesome soundboard. It was actually a pared down version of it. And you had to do some versions of at least one or more. And you could freestyle and add some on if you wanted to. And it was really kind of just open for people to have fun. I have to say of all the contests that we've run, this one had to have made me laugh the most. I'm sure you guys on on the stage will agree. (laughs) Even if you didn't win the contest, uh, suffice it to say, so long as you don't mind, probably some of these will end up on our soundboard because they're just hilarious. Can I get uh, a drum roll for the first? winner the first winner is Hanun Kepin these were his four that he gave a try at we've got first of all Lil Ye yeah, yeah. very cute very cute I think this is the one that said that he got his four year old son to help him so that's a little bit of cheating but... <laughs> alright we got more from him we got bad jokes nouns we've got a bra bra <laughs> and then finally, of course, it would not be complete without a yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. <laughs> oh my god, the sound, <laughs> the yeah, boy right. around the world. One down, the yeah, boy around the world. That's right. <laughs> All right, let's get another drum roll for our second winner. <laughs> Parisi 3086166666. Parisi, congratulations. And let's see what his or her soundboard sounds like. Oh no. Oh 
no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> that was a freestyle, which I really appreciated. So that was a freestyle oh no, which I'm sure we'll find some use for. And then this one we've got Yeah boy. <laughs> I love how kids have like no like sense of where and how words should start and end. It's great. I love this. <laughs> you wanna get high? <laughs> Perfection. <laughs> so good, so good. All right, congratulations, uh, Parisi and your son. All right. <laughs> All right, let's get another drum roll, please, for our third winner. <laughs> Q-U-E-T-A, Quinta's soundboard. Yeah, boy! <laughs> nice enthusiasm, I like it. That just set off my headset. Somehow that's better than the actual one. <laughs> never, never gonna use the regular drum again. All right, we've got applause. Yeah. <laughs> they got the whole neighborhood to come together and uh, clap for them. We got a Lil Ya Boy. Very nice. Very squealy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't want to get hot. If anyone's coming into the spaces right now, they're probably like, what the hell is going on? Yeah. <laughs> In many ways. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was very high pitched, actually. Yes. <laughs> we got a FOMO. It's FOMO time. Ooh, that's very interesting. It's different. They went a different way with that one. Instead of going with the death. How about remix? Remix. It's four, it's four more time. We're definitely going to use that one at some point. And yeah, that's good. We, I really like we, that one. Uh, congratulations. Another one. AA underscore Kerr. Andre Kernawan. Kernawan. Yeah, boy. I like it. Nice bass to it. Very nice. Yeah. That sounded more like a burp than a bra, but okay. <laughs> Very guttural. <laughs> wow. And then we got another FOMO time, actually. FOMO time! <laughs> like, I <Nice>. like it. <laughs> amazing. FOMO time! <laughs> Every day. FOMO time! It's ready. Who's ready? Yeah, boy! <laughs> Your time. <laughs> it's almost kind of creepy, but we might use it. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, wow! What are you doing? All right. So that's four out of five. We have one final winner here. Fifth prize goes to our very own robot fish girl. Let's go over some of them here. We've got co-op time. Co-op time. Amazing. We've got her classic laughter, which I think we get enough of uh, on the show. But we, we, if we ever feel like we need more, or if you ever can't make it onto it, <laughs> this will be helpful. <laughs> we just play it at the same time and do like the double extra harmony act. That's right. Time for bed explains me badly. Another amazing. How good is that one? Another amazing freestyle. <laughs> That's awesome. Here's one that we could have used earlier tonight, but I couldn't find it in time. <laughs> then we got an air horn. And then uh, we've got. Time for FOMO. Very nice FOMO one as well. So we've got lots of these amazing new sounds to use on the show. Thank you, everybody who entered. It was super fun and hard to decide. Uh, we we stripped all of those uh, my instants and listened to them and voted for them in the Discord. And these are the five that came up uh, winners, but all of them were hilarious. So thank you for all of your entries, and I'm sure you'll hear them on our shows coming up. There was one final final sound on uh, RFTs here that will be very apropos right now. Now back to the guest. Atari, any, any, any parting words? Did you have fun? Is this your, this is your first time, I think, uh, coming on the Down Square, right? No, I've been at a few others, but the first time as a guest. Awesome. How did you like it? I, I, I really liked it. The time it could be a little bit more ideal. I just did a big yawn before you popped it to me. Um, <laughs> but I'm, I'm handling it, okay? <laughs> Give us some emojis if you enjoy the 
Is that Queen of the Stone Age? Sure is. This man is an A and R, an animator, and many more.